everyone, it's me again, Chelsea. Um, today our skill is the handstand. And before you even attempt a handstand, you have to make sure you're strong enough so you don't land on your head, okay? So the very first thing you can do to gain your strength for a handstand is a donkey kick. So you're gonna put your hands on a mat and you're gonna jump up and down. And then once you can do that without landing on your head or your face, then that means you're ready for the next step. Okay, now that we've mastered the donkey kick, now we can work on progressions going into the handstand. Um, so the very first step would just be putting your feet up, probably on your bed or something, and doing a low handstand like this for 10 seconds, holding yourself up. Once you've mastered that step, you can walk your hands up and go up to a 90 degree angle, pushing up tall on your shoulders with your head neutral, and then you can try to put one leg up in the air. And then you can switch, and then try to hop. And once you've got that mastered, you can work on leg up, connect, leg up, connect. When you're doing those, it's really important that you're pushing up tall on your shoulders, your hands are straight, and your head is in a neutral position. Okay, one way to build your strength and your endurance for a handstand is to do them against the wall, okay? So it's really important, if you think about it, the wall is as straight as, as it gets. So you're going to make sure your chin and your hips are on the wall. If your hips are not on the wall, that means they're in a pike. Or if your chin's not on the wall, that means you have a broken shoulder ankle. So you want to make sure you're completely flat and straight and your head is neutral. So the way to get on the wall safely is put your hands down and walk your feet up the wall. And make sure you're nice and straight with a neutral head. Now to learn how to balance, you're going to flex one foot. The other one goes off the wall. And then switch. And then switch and then try to balance without the wall. The safest way to come down is to walk your hands up and walk down the wall. Once you're able to do that, we're ready to learn a handstand with no wall, mats, or anything. So what you're going to start on first is called a three-quarter handstand. So you start in the lunge, and make sure your arms are up by your ears, front leg is bent, back leg is straight, lever, three-quarter. And always land back in a lunge. Okay, it's really important that you finish all of your skills. Once you've gotten your three-quarter down, you can do lunge, leg up, connect, and land back in your lunge. Okay? Now here at Nova, we are huge on safety. And we always teach our students how to fall. Okay? Because it's going to happen. If you are working on your leg up, connect, and you happen to fall over, you can either, one, do a handstand, tuck and roll, or two, after you connect, and you feel like you're falling, you can do a bridge. Okay? And that's a handstand. Okay, believe it or not, a handstand in gymnastics is used on every event. Vault, bars, beam, and floor. My challenge for you, now that we can do a handstand, is to try a split handstand. So you'll start in a lunge, go to a handstand and do a split, and lay back in your lunge. Once you've mastered that, you can try to put that split handstand in a back walkover, in a back handstand step out, or even a front walkover. Once you've done that, you can also try a handstand bridge kickover. When you kick over, you have to push up tall to the split handstand if you want to be able to land in your lunge. Okay? So my challenge to you, how long can you hold a handstand without a mat, without a wall, nothing? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time.